The CMA Awards were just what we needed during the uncertainty 2020 has brought us. The award show hosted by Reba McIntyre and Darius Rucker was full of emotion. Emotion that paired with the weight everyone is feeling in our world right now hit deep the hearts of viewers. Unlike the ACM Awards, this time there was an audience. Not a large one, but a small amount of artists were in attendance, having been screened for COVID beforehand. With such a talented lineup, it's hard to pick which performances were best, but there were five moments that caught our hearts more than others. Give this video a thumbs up if you're glad to see country music award shows coming back. Number 5 was country artists making COVID accessorizing look good. We don't want to trivialize the importance of the protocols, nor give too much credit. Five artists pulled out of the show. Social distancing did not happen during the show when hugs or even kisses were exchanged across the table with several wins. Much of the conversation in the days after the show will be about just that. But the CMAs did seem to stay true to a goal of having everyone masked away from the main floor. That included Reba and her man Rex Lynn, Carrie Underwood and Lauren Elena, and Maren Morris with Miranda Lambert. Kind of. The best was still Reba's before the show, but we'll move on. Taking number four was Charlie Pride and Jimmy Allen's performance. The duo's performance was a tribute to Pride, who took home the Willie Nelson Lifetime Achievement Award. Midway through Allen's best shot number, he broke off into a brief speech about Pride along with a pre-recorded salute chronicling the country godfather's career as a trailblazing troubadour. And then with genuine gratitude, Pride accepted his award. But all the people have been influenced by my life, what my life has been influenced by, I gotta say something about some of them moving everyone in the room, especially Ashley McBride. Number three is a no-brainer. Eric Church took home the coveted Entertainer of the Year Award, but it was his passionate speech about country music and the climate of this world that left everyone feeling hopeful for the future. Politicians are about division. Music is about unity. At number two was newcomer Ingrid Andress, who arguably gave the surprise performance of the night with more hearts than mine. This was a beautiful showcase of her voice and songwriting skills, and an example of what happens when you empower women in country music. Andress is a gem, and her ladylike album is must-listen music. At the end, she broke down in tears, as if the stress of this year was just too much. And finally, the sweet harmonies of Little Big Town come in at number one. You probably expected The Gambler when you saw there'd be a Kenny Rogers tribute, right? Karen Fairchild and company instead chose Sweet Music Man and crushed it with tight harmonies we could listen to all day long. It was a beautiful way to honor a great artist and a great man, someone who was friends to so many in and out of country music. Rogers died in March after a short illness. The Country Music Hall of Famer will be missed for decades to come. I'm Addison Hager for Taste of Country, and before we go, let us know what your favorite performance of the night was in the comments below. And as always, thanks for subscribing and thanks for watching.